All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a potential Buccaneer signing. We are going to be talking about Anthony Barr here. I still think the Bucks have a Super Bowl roster. Uh, I actually don't anticipate Nadamik and Sue coming back. It appears as if like the Raiders and there was one other, maybe it was the Ravens. Can't remember, but there's some competition in the AFC. And basically with Nadamikin, like his price tag hasn't changed. He's still ridiculously expensive for his age, really. Um, and he's not really that much of a, of a, prioritization for the Buck squad. So I anticipate Sue not coming back to Tampa Bay. And, you know, while the defense lost some pieces, they also gained some pieces, right? So today we're going to be talking about four-time Pro Bowler Anthony Barry. Actually, from 2015 to 2018, he made four consecutive Pro Bowls. Unfortunately, the past two seasons have been devastated by injuries mainly 2020 when he tore his pec but this past season he played and started in 11 games had 72 tackles really made the most of it had five pass deflections he had three interceptions which was really cool <laughs> and six quarterback hits two and a half sacks so looking at anthony he is currently 30 years old i know it is not a signing where if you're the buccaneers you need to make this happen but you could go pick him up while you wait for your younger linebacker to develop further and come by the end of the by the end of the season you've kind of just got all these studs at the linebacker position so you know, like I said, the Bucks don't need to go out and make actually any moves defensively, I would go out and say. Um, but if I'm looking at this Bucks squad, and this is something I've talked about on the channel a lot, is like, I'm not saying the Super Bowl window is necessarily closing fast, but you don't. we don't know how long Tom Brady is here. I, I have a really hard time imagining Tom Brady is back after this season. I have a very hard time imagining that. So why not load up as much as you can? I know money is always in play and the Bucks don't have too much of it, but if, there will, if there's a will, there's a way. So that is it for today. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit that sub button for daily Buccaneers content, and I will see you guys later. But most importantly, drop a comment down below. What would you think if the Bucks went out and signed Anthony Barr?